Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cut crease Christmas color makeup look. Um, it was fairly easy to do. Um, I've told you guys in my previous makeup videos that I've ne I never really have a clue what I'm going to do for these type of looks like Valentine's, Christmas, you know, these big um, holidays. But I just go ahead and come up with whatever I see on my palettes, you know. And today I came up with this look. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this cut crease, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by doing this eye over here. I already did this one off camera just to see um, what kind of look I was going for and I came up with this look. So let's get started. So I'm using both the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and the Morphe 35M palette. So I'm going to start off with the base. So from the Morphe palette, I'm going to be taking just this nude color right here and putting that all over my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking these two greens right here. After going with that green, I'm going to take this very bright green up here from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And then this helps it pop out. And then with another brush, I'm going to take the red from this palette. And you put that in the middle of your... Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I feel like I still need to practice how to do cut creases, like the full wing one. But this is what I got going on. Okay, see, I'm gonna like this eye better than the first one here. Okay, so after that, with another brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take this white shimmery shade down here. And just put that all over the lid. And just pat it on there. You might want to wet your brush or also take your finger. It just adds more of a sparkle. But yeah, guys, I did my nails. I don't know how I feel about them. I'll show you the picture how I wanted them. And that's how they came out. Let me know what you guys think. Okay. So, after you do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my glitter glue, which is right here. And a little brush. So, I'm going to put the glitter glue, like, right here in the middle of where the red's at. This glitter from MAC with the brush and place it right where I put the glue. So originally I wanted it like this one, this eye, but then when I was going ahead and pigmenting more the green and the red um the red got in the way of the glue so it ended up like this which i don't mind because it does add like a pop of color to the look so i'm gonna go ahead and do that again so with the same green brush just take the colors we use for the green and 
and then for the red so it creates like that effect mix with the glue which is not that bad but I'm guessing if you want to look better you can go ahead and grab an angle brush and the red and just go along the lines of it It was kind of clumpy because the glue, but... Mm. Have you guys tried this? Look, maybe you could try it without the glue. And see how it comes out. It'll probably come out better. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. And then come back on here to finish the eye. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and put on my lashes off camera as well. So, um, this is how the eye uh, makeup looks with the lashes. I actually really like this look. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put the same colors I used up here, like on my lower lash line. So, first that bright green. And then that red color. And you already know for that pop of shine in the inner corner. I love to use the ColourPop Super Shock. Um, highlighters and this is the shade, the shade Wisp. So I'm gonna get that same small brush I used earlier and use that to place this right here. So, guys, I'm so excited. I know I've been talking to you guys on my last video that I'm gonna be going home for the holidays. Tomorrow's finally the day, the day after where I come heading out. I'm kind of gonna, I'm going to surprise my family because. They thought I was going to work Christmas Eve and then work it morning and then head over there and get there like later at night. But I noticed on my schedule, I'm not scheduled for Christmas Eve, thank God. So I get to leave a day earlier. So I'm going to leave tomorrow and, you know, I get to wake up with my family on Christmas Eve. I'm so excited and I'm going to be gone for three whole weeks. So it's my time to relax from no work and no school, finally. Um, the semester was rough, but I did get my grades in, and I did really well. I passed all my classes. Like, I'm so um, proud of myself. I just hope I keep this up for next semester. They said I'm taking 21 units, and I hope I got you guys. Like, 2020 is the year. Um, So that's what I do, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. So I think I'm going to do it like a nude. I want to do a nude since, like, oh, this is already bright, so I'm going to use... Low key by Tarte. I love how smooth it goes on the lips. And then for my lower lashes, I'm going to be using this length um, mascara by Wet n Wild. And this is the finished look. I don't know if you guys can see good. Let me try to put you guys over here. Hold on. This is the final look, guys. Let me go ahead and spray my face with the Mario Badesco. But there we have it. This is my Christmas makeup look for this year. I hope you guys like it. And if you guys try it, don't forget to tag me in your photos. Uh, thank you guys again for over 200 subscribers. Um, that was my 2019 wish list, and it happened. So, um, thank you guys. Um, also, I think this is the last video I'm going to be posting for 2019. So, um, well, I do want to vlog for Christmas, so I might vlog that, but like this last sit down video. So, I just want to say thank you guys for writing with me once again, another year down. Um, Congrats on your guys' accomplishments, and if you guys failed for getting back up, I know this year was tough for many of us, um, including me, I don't know, it just really got to me, it was crazy, like, I was really trying to find myself this year, I believe, like, I didn't know where I wanted to be, or like, you know, like, where I was going with my life, like, it was really hard, but I think, um, the mistakes and the people that, like, left me, you know, like, being friends or not friends. Or, like, did me dirty, like, 
they helped me in the end like they made me a stronger person so i want to say thank you to those people as well um just keep on being strong and don't forget to get back up because i know this life is tough and it's gonna continue to be tough i've noticed um as i'm growing up and the only thing left to do is survive so yeah guys um i hope you guys had an amazing 2019 as i said on good or bad um thank you guys so so much for watching and tell me what you guys want to see next in the description down below and i love you guys so so much and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe click that subscribe button don't forget guys also um if this is not my last video for 2019 um i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the videos i have to offer but yeah thank you guys so so much and thank you guys for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye with this concealer and this brush here oh my god oh my god look what i did but yeah guys like but um yeah guys like okay enough of this i'll talk to you guys after i finish but hold up one moment